What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And I'm um, Feels good, man. Crazy. Crazy. Deadpool 3. So, Ryan Reynolds, yeah, he must have put out a tweet where he was just saying, um, Deadpool 3, they're a bit lost at the moment with the production, everything that's going on. But I do have one idea, and it had Hugh Jackman walk in the background. And then he said, fancy playing Wolverine one more time? And then Hugh Jackman's like, sure, Bob. Or something like that, right? He said something that is very Wolverine-like, right? <laughs> Bro. Oh, shoot, man. And then he did another tweet. This, But this was um, a couple hours later, right? Where Hugh Jackman was sitting down with him and they were trying to explain... Why Wolverine is here? How can Wolverine come back? Because, you know, he died in that movie, Logan. Came out in 2017. Yeah. What's happening? And they explain it in the best way possible. They say a whole load of nothing. They're there. Like, they have, like, a little bit of a talk. And then, as they update... Now, let, we're going to explain... Why Wolverine is here, how he can come back, and what is going on. Then they start talking. And they get very animated, but then music cuts in. Very, very loud music cuts in. Where you can't actually hear what they're saying. But they are very animated. And for me, that's perfect. That says everything I need to see and need to hear. It's Marvel, baby. Anything can happen. The multiverse wasn't Logan set in like 20, 29, I want to say. I think it's something like that, but it's set way into the future. And this could be, this could be the present of that future. This could be an alternate timeline or ultimate multiverse to that Logan could have happened in a different multiverse with a different reality or a different timeline or a diff like different multiverse that does not have to dictate what happens all because of the multiverse so Wolverine is in Deadpool 3 let's Go! Oh my goodness! I love that. I love that. So that was me, um, just reacting and just telling you guys. Can't believe it! Amazing. Hugh Jackman is going to be reprising his role as Wolverine. And let me let me let's get something straight. I have always liked Wolverine. Hugh Jackman. I mean, I think his movies have suffered from having not good producers, not good directors, not good executive producers, not good art direction, not good fight choreography. And I would say, most importantly, their refusal to do an R rated, not even 18 or not even 15. Or well, it might have been 15, one of the Wolverine movies. But they haven't even, they, they refusal to do R-rated. That has been their one issue. In every single Wolverine movie, Hugh Jackman has always been godlike. But the movie itself has been absolute garbage. Hopefully, now this will change. Now you know, Deadpool, R-rated movie. Hella successful. Everybody loves Hugh Jackman. Everybody loves Wolverine. Do a Deadpool 3 movie that is like Black Panther and Killmonger. Or Batman and Joker. Or 
Captain America and Iron Man. A movie where both characters have time to shine. It's not like one character dominates everything. You can have a character that tells the story and screen time of both characters. If Deadpool 3 is like that, it's going to be incredible. Mate, I cannot wait. I've not been this hyped for Deadpool since the first Deadpool. Since they released that trailer. That CG trailer. You all know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah. Excited. Hype, Hugh Jackman is back. Please be R-rated. Don't be afraid of your own shadow. Let's go. And um, we're here. And one thing, I just want to let you know. I know that the camera is a little bit different, right? So tell me what you think about it. Do you like the way the camera's been shot? If you don't like it, we can change it, change it back. But if you like it, we can keep it like this and, yeah, go from there. So Warriors, I want to say take care, stay blessed. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Laters.